This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson arrays and for loops. Switching colors with a function. We could write a for loop for each different color that we want to set LEDs to, but that would take a lot of duplicate code that's almost the same. This is a perfect place to use a uh, to use a function with a parameter. We've seen We've seen and used functions with parameters before, yes we have, but now we're going to make one from scratch. Do this, create a function called set color, set, set LEDs color that takes a parameter color and uses, uses it to change the color of the LEDs. All right, so we're gonna grab this. Um, at the bottom of your program, drag the function with parameter block. Here's the function, oop, and here's with parameter. If you grab the other one, you can just hit the arrow though. So function with parameter, boom. Well, I'm gonna, you don't need to do this. I'm just creating a bunch of space down here so it's easier to see. All right. So now I have that. Change the name of my function to set LEDs color. Okay, set LEDs color, and then change the parameter name from in to color, and that's this thing. And the parameter is what we pass, what we use is kind of like a variable, and you'll see what I mean. Inside your function, add a for loop that repeats until it reaches the end of color LEDs. So that's just like what we have been doing. Instead of saying though, uh, oh no, we want it to go through all the color LEDs. So, just like we've been doing, i starts at 0. i is going to be less, not than 4, but less than the color LEDs.length. Because that way, if that ever changes, it will automatically change here, and it's not something we will have to worry about. So, i will always be less than color LEDs.length, right? And that's the length of the array. That's our color LEDs. So, less than 10. And then i is going to go up by one each time and loop through each one of our LEDs starting at zero because our indexes start at zero. So the first light is indexed at zero, the second LED is indexed at one, so on and so forth. All right, inside your for loop, set the color of the current LED parameter, right? So that's this, to the current LED parameter. All right, so we're going to set the color to the current LED parameter. So let's look for LED set color, and that is going to be where, oh, I'm scrolling right by it, here. Color LEDs, and then we want this to be I, though, because we're going to loop through each of them. So instead of it being zero, we want it to be I, which is zero at first, but then one, then two, so it will loop through and be all of them. Now, what color? Well, we're not sure, we want to use a variable. So I even got rid of the quotes and I'm going to type in the word color because that's the parameter up here. So when the person calls the function, when we ask it to run, we'll give it a color. And you'll see what I mean. Um, oh, are we not gonna, we'll add event handlers that use this function the next level. Test your function by your program and typing this into Oh, okay, so right now we're just going to test it by using the debug console. All right, so let's go ahead and hit run. And then in the debug window, so I've weighed out at the bottom here, I'm going to type what they have set, LEDs, color, blue, and this should hopefully run our function. Blue is the parameter we're passing. I'm going to hit enter. But uh that looks promising. Awesome. I can't wait to see how we use it in the next part of this lesson. Let's keep going.